Do you love Nintendo music but get upset that it's not on Spotify or Apple Music? Well, you're in luck because Nintendo just announced Nintendo Music. Hello everyone, welcome back to Knader Gaming, and today we're doing kind of a different video. Now on this channel we primarily do gaming things, although this video does fall in that category, we're not really reviewing or looking at a game today, but instead we're going to be looking at, as I mentioned, Nintendo Music. Now if you're wondering what that is, it's an app that Nintendo just released where you can stream all of their music. Now I say all, it's not all of their music, and we're actually going to look at that pretty soon. Um, however, this video is kind of just my first thoughts. I haven't opened or looked through the app, um, but this is going to be my first thoughts on it. I've got the app, I have a subscription, so we're going to kind of just see it, see the ins and outs, the pros, the cons of the app. But yeah, um, let's get straight into this. I There won't be any music from the app itself for copyright, and I can't get it working, so there's that too. Um, so bear with me on that. However, we're still going to look at pretty much everything possible within the app itself. So. Let's get straight into it. Also, if you notice, I keep looking down. My phone is on my knee, so there's that. And I'm also, I have my laptop over here, which is going to be recording my phone through Apple mirroring Bluetooth. It's weird, kind of sketchy. So if you see me looking back and forth, I'm just making sure everything's still working. And it's a good thing I said that because it's <laughs> not. <laughs> So here we go, you should be able to see the app itself somewhere in this side of the screen. But yes, as you see, we are in the app. Uh, we have to sign in. That would naturally be the next step. Yes, please, I want to sign in. Now you're going to see all my information. Don't look! Oh, it's just... I think that's just my me. <laughs> so flattering. Welcome! I feel welcome. Um, enable notifications. It's kind of weird to get a music streaming app to do that, but I, I think I know why and we'll address that later. Before you begin, please note that there may be spoilers. I can guarantee you this is the only streaming service that warns of spoilers. And I get that. And once again, I think that's in the settings here as it says down there. So we'll probably talk about that later. Now I will admit, as I said, I haven't really looked through the app, but as you see, there is a recently played slot. And yes, I did quickly listen to just a random song to make sure it's working. Um, but first of all, I see characters on the screen. Um, this is already cracking me up because if this is what I think it is, because I think this is like playlist based off the character, King DDD. Yeah, it's literally just the King DDD boss music, which that makes sense. I tend to look at this more of like what he would listen to, but I think this is meant to be. Oh, not all of these are are King DDD boss fights. Friends Gateway. I don't know if that is a King DDD boss music song, but we have Meta Knight. What does he listen to? Looks like we have like the Kirby characters right now. More Meta Knight songs. Anyone else? Magalore? Oh, hold up. Magalore? If you don't know who that is, you are not a Nintendo fan. Um, first, okay, yeah. Ma Magalore is one of the best villains of all time. He's got a couple tracks on his playlist. Um, I don't know who these characters are. Are they Pokemon? I feel so bad. I don't... Yeah, that's Pokemon. I don't play Pokemon. I'm sorry, Trey. I know. I'm disappointing. One day, you'll have to lend me one of those games. That's one of my friends, by the way. Um, okay, let's keep going. Top recommendations. So I'm assuming this is what they want us to listen to. This is the popular stuff. First of all, you see Mario Series Select. Yep, these are very typical. Now, one thing I'm already noticing that's very different um, in this as opposed to other music streaming apps is this has a big focus on pictures. You see, most of us, now that I think about it, we wouldn't be able to look at a name of a Nintendo song and be able to correlate that with what the song actually is. But in the app here, you see we actually have the picture with it. And now that I'm seeing that, I actually know the song. Like if you just had the name of, uh, let me think, Bendy Boing Wonder. Okay, so this Mario Wonder song right here, I actually probably wouldn't be able to tell you that song at the top of my head. But since I've played the game and that specific level, I kind of actually know what song that is. And so I think, while it takes up a lot more of your screen, I think that's actually a really good design here. And of course, we have the shuffle option where it'll just shuffle between songs, I assume. Uh, what other options do we have? Add to my music. I'm assuming that's like Spotify, so you like a song and then you have a liked playlist. Download it, add to playlist. Cue songs. Cue songs is 
the best feature in uh, any music streaming app. If you don't have it, then don't even bother. And share, I don't really know what share does. I'm assuming, oh, I'm about to see all my contacts. No, 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 that'll mine. All right, um, let's continue on. Going back, um, what are the other recommendations? Let's just look at one other. Let's just look at Nintendo Music Top Tracks. So, first of all, oh my goodness. There's 729. Wow, the top tracks for Nintendo. Very humble by picking 730 of them. 28 hours, almost 29 hours of the top Nintendo music. Uh, Thwomp Ruins, that is their first one on the list. I know the song because I love Mario Kart 8, but that's probably not the initial one I would have thought of. But that's cool, that's cool. Um, Now, just keeping on looking down, I see Fire Emblem. Okay, there's Fire Emblem on here. I'm excited for that because I love Fire Emblem music. I feel like it's very underrated. People don't talk about it a whole lot. Lots of Zelda, Star Fox, Mario Kart 8. I think there's only certain games on here. Um, once again, we'll address that later on throughout this. Um, find your favorites. Let me see how accurate they are. Mario Bros. Wonder, that is, I love that game. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, that has some of the best music, video game music of all time in general. Super Mario Galaxy, I did I did just play this game and the music was really good. Uh, let's continue on. Featured playlist, okay. Top tracks from the Wii channel, no way. This is worth paying your Nintendo subscription. Um, By the way, gonna stop it right here. The pricing for this app is free and not free, okay? It's not free. You have to have a Nintendo online subscription. The app just comes with it, essentially. So if you have a Nintendo online subscription, which by the way is $20 a year. So you're essentially paying for ad free Nintendo music, for like what, $1.60 a month, which is pretty good. You can get the Wii menu music. I mean, that music is so good. This is worth $1.60 a month, guys. Pay for it, give Nintendo money, get their music. All right, um, gonna continue on. The artist of Splatoon. I'm surprised I didn't see this. You know what? This probably resets every time. But Splatoon definitely, in regards to music, is one of Nintendo's bigger, um, what's the word, franchises for music. And so what do we... I don't play a whole lot of Splatoon. I played the first one, really liked it. Just never got around. Squid Sisters. Okay, that's the only one I really recognize. And Calamari Incantation is the only one I really remember because I'm pretty sure that's the boss fight music. Oh, I wonder... They do. DJ Octavio has a play. It's one song, of course. That is fantastic. The DJ. Oh wait, hold up, hold up. They have a. They have bios. The DJ who needs no introduction. DJ Octavio is well known as the head of the Octarian Army and the first DJ to ever infuse his beats with the scorching hot sizzle of actual was wasabi roots. He specializes in techno remixes and has once produced music under the name of DJ Octavio. Featuring Cali. Wow, okay. I need to, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but I'm definitely gonna be reading all those because that is so funny that DJ Octavio has his own playlist of one song, which is a banger, by the way. I'm um, still going down the menu. Extend your en enjoyment. Oh yeah, so in the ad, this is, I like this. So essentially what they've done with this, let's just go with Animal Crossing. These songs here, once again, I'm not gonna demonstrate it because I don't wanna, I can't play any music right now. But what you can do is most of these songs, as you see here, 241 tracks for seven hours and 38 minutes. But what you can do, let me see if it'll let me just tap it on here. So you can extend it. And now you can make this song play for 60 minutes on repeat because it's a loopable song. So this is a really good idea for study music. In my opinion, this is maybe one of the more unique features that'll set this app out, is the ability to be able to take these really calm, nice, relaxing songs and put them on a long loop. Cause I just think that'll help you focus, maybe relax. So I think that's a great feature. Um, continuing on, you may also like, okay, I'm assuming this is just, yeah, more just playlist. Okay, match your mood. This is another one that's interesting. We have running, walking, powering up, break time, good night. All right, let's look up two of these. Let's look at good night. What, what do we sleep to? Pretty much all the water Mario courses that I'd agree with. Um, nothing really standing out. A lot of Mario and Pikmin music here. Some Fire Emblem. All right, let's go back. Let's see, powering up. Is that like workout music? Let me check. Is that workout music? 
I want to know what Nintendo workout music is. A curated playlist of up-tempo tracks to fill you with energy. Mario Kart stick. This is so funny. These are not what I would consider, you know, pumping yourself up. If you watch the trailer for this, you probably saw that they have a guy who turns this playlist on and he starts working out. And it's the Dr. Mario theme, which is just hilarious because if I want to get pumped up, that's probably not the song I'm going to turn on. But still, it's it's cool. I love it. Uh, set the scene. Okay, this this is kind of more up my alley. Boss battles. They have a playlist. See, this is my kind of place. I love that kind of evil villain music. So if I'm going to just have a playlist turn on, probably going to be this one. I'm already seeing some great ones. Meta Ridley battle. Bowser Jr. battle. Enter Bowser Jr. Okay, it's not a very big playlist. Only 15 tracks. That's not terrible. And you can grow these. As we're going to see, you can make playlists. All right, now we're going to continue on. Um, if that's the main page, let's go to the search options. Okay, so here are all the games. You're going to see there's actually not that many. So we have Mario Wonder, Animal Crossing. Yeah, we only have this many games. That's the whole list. But, I mean, there's some great ones here. Super Mario Bros. Wonder, Splatoon 3, Animal Crossing. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has an incredible uh, album soundtrack, so that's a good one. For the Wii, they picked Mario Galaxy and Wii Channels, two absolutely excellent picks. Continuing on, we see Metroid Prime, Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade. Fire Emblem the Blazing Blade, great pick. I hope they add more Fire Emblem games. And of course, we see the classics here. Ocarina of Time, Donkey Kong Country, Kirby's Dream Land, Dr. Mario, and of course, the original Super Mario Bros. So all in all, this is a very solid start. I do hope it grows significantly. Like there's a lot of songs not represented here. I'm kind of curious to see what they'll do with if they add Super Smash Bros because a lot of those aren't Nintendo. I, I don't know. I'm just curious to see how they deal with games of that sort. The search itself. Yeah, just look up songs. I want to... I'm sorry, this type Mario. How does this how does this search engine work? Okay, it just gives you stuff with the name. Oh, and you can go by game, playlists, or tracks named Mario. Okay. Very generic, how I would expect search engine. And let's go to my music. Now, here is where we can create a playlist. This is the downloaded and all. Downloaded is just if you want to stream offline. I never do that because generally I have Wi-Fi. But let's create a playlist. Let's just make one. All right. Uh, let's go, I don't know. Now that I've said I'm gonna make one, I completely blanked out. Let's go, test, <laughs> if I can spell it. Here we go, test. So how do we do this? Do we just go, okay, let's just open up, boo. Twisted Mansion, great song. And I'm assuming you just add the playlist and then select one. All right, it's very, very simple. It, this is essentially Spotify. Um, Yep, and now we have the track. Once again, I love the fact that it's the pictures. That makes it so much easier to find songs when it comes to video games. Um, yeah, okay, that's cool. Now we're gonna let's look into the settings. Ooh, don't want you seeing my email. Uh, recent highlights. I think this is like updates and stuff. Okay, this is so as we saw. Let me pull it back up again. There is the notifications thing right here. That. You know, at first I, I hate getting notifications, but for this app, it makes sense because hopefully notifications are going to be stuff like, hey, we just added Super Mario Bros. 2 to the playlist. We just added uh, Tears of Kingdom to the playlist and stuff like that. And so hopefully, I'm assuming that's what the notifications are for. Uh, let me see, anything else that stands out here? Spoiler prevention. Okay, so you add games. See, I, I get this. Like, if you've had Super Mario, if you've never played Super Mario Odyssey and you want to play through it, you don't want to see a track titled like, I don't know, The Return of Dry Bowser. That's, I'm making that up, that's not real. But I feel like going to the point of like, banning playlists because you don't want spoilers, I don't know. D tell me what you guys think of that. If you think the whole spoiler prevention thing is cool or kind of random, I don't know. I don't know, let me know your thoughts on that. But besides that, there's nothing really else standing out here, display. Uh, yeah, so all in all, I think we've pretty much covered everything uh, straight away. Let me tell you, this app is great. It's working. It works well, except that I can't get it to stream to my laptop and play the audio, which is fine. That's not the app. That's the phone and laptop. Uh, 
the only big con I'd say is not a big selection right now, but the app came out on the 30th. So it hasn't really had a whole lot of time. Uh, I do hope that it gets a lot more songs. I wonder if they'll do like a, I know they won't because it's just not how Nintendo runs things, but I'd love to see like an option where we could submit our requests and then they just pick the soundtracks that have the most requests on it. Um, but yeah, I love the character thing. I think it's great. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a lot of characters and I'm assuming that's only some. I love Ganon. Oh, what was that KK Slider? Oh my goodness. We have a, we have a, this is like an actual album. Cause like KK Slider is actually a musician. So we actually have his music. So at least we have one real artist on here. Not calling the others not, but these are actual songs. So Congrats to KK Slider for making it to being the first artist on a uh, Nintendo music. But yes, all in all, as I said, very impressed with the app for $1.60 a month. Kind of hard to complain. And with that $1.60 a month, you get all the bonuses of a Nintendo online subscription, such as playing, uh, I can't remember them off the top of my head, but like NES games, I think Game Boy games. So, I mean, it's definitely worth the price. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think of the Nintendo Music app, whether you think it's kind of crazy, random. Um, all in all, I think I'll use it a bit. I don't see myself using it a whole lot, but it'll be fun to test out over the next couple weeks and months. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.